Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news, some more news concerning Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder had a <clears throat> surprisingly <clears throat> low weight of 213 pounds. <clears throat> now, before we start tripping and start speculating and this and that, I need to remind you guys that he was 209 pounds when he knocked out Luis Ortiz the first time in the 10th round. It was uh, four knockdowns in that fight, and he delivered all four knockdowns. And despite him being sick at the time, 209 pounds was a good good weight for him because it's not about the size of Wilder. It's about the size of the punch in Wilder, okay? And Wilder needs everything else to work smoothly in order for that to properly be executed, okay? And I'm, what I mean that, I mean the right hand. See, the third fight with Tyson Fury was a shit show simply because he thought he needed to be bigger to, pr to produce more power. And <clears throat> what he didn't realize, and I think Malik Scott or somebody, or probably me, yeah, I'm gonna pr I'm gonna claim myself. Why? Because I was the one screaming at Deontay like, "Yo, lose the weight. You do not need the weight. Please lose the weight. Okay? Please do that. Because you don't need it. It made him sluggish. It made him slow. He was tired quick. He didn't know where to go. Bars. Those were the things that I'm talking about right there. Okay? And I think Wilder at 213 won't get tired won't gas out, will be more ex just as explosive because it's not about the size, it's about the, the, the God-given strength, right? So that has nothing to do with it. Him being bigger <clears throat> doesn't help. I think what hurt was the knockout of Dominic Brazil because that was actually when he was getting bigger and he hit Dominic Brazil with that one shot, okay? And when he hit him with that one shot, he thought to himself, oh man, this is what I need. I need this weight. And then follow up with that, he knocked out Luis Ortiz the, the, the second time. So he thought in his mind, oh, man, it's the weight. It's the weight. But it was never the weight. It was always the power, the God-given innateness inside. It wasn't the weight at all. In fact, the weight is what which betrayed him because he tried to add muscle on. He tried to put on an army, a, a, a armor of muscle, and that didn't work for him either. It backfired on him. It turned his back on him. That's what it would do to you. Because it takes responsibility to carry all that muscle around and you're not accustomed to doing it. You can be strong as the Dickens. I think, and I look at Deontay Wilder, okay, as a guy that has more. He could probably beat you arm wrestling, but couldn't, but couldn't beat you lifting weights. You see what I mean? There's a difference. That's a different type of strength right there. And I'm glad that Deontay Wilder is 213 because now he has a chance to box and to keep focused on the right hand because he's going to have to land the right hand to beat Joseph Parker. He's not going to land a left hook. And if, if Wilder lands a left hook and knocks out Joseph Parker with a left hook without the right hand, oh, man, I will be amazed, astonished, bewildered, excited, surprised. <laughs> I will be all of those things because Wilder, knowing I call him the one-handed champion, but that one hand is gravy, baby. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Wilder coming in at 213. That's my counterpunch. Of course, please subscribe. See you guys tomorrow live. Bars. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.